Today we're going to do a little project. Uh, we're going to see whether LED lights are brighter than uh, your fluorescent lights. I uh, have some fluorescent lights like these up here I'll show you. They're right there. There's actually uh, four in each one of them. So there's four bulbs in there. Each one of them bulbs is 40 watts. Now, I went and bought some LED lights. They're a 60 watt light. It's a 60 watt replacement light. It says it uses nine watts. Now, I have eight of the 40 watt ones there. And I got eight of the 40 on this side. Each piece of my garage, each section of my garage here runs on a switch. So I have a switch for these, a switch for the center ones, and a switch for the row on the other end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other four lights on that side out and eliminate them all together. And I'm going to put in four, or I'm going to put five of these lights in. And they just got a little box. I'll run through some conduit. And I'll stick five regular lights in there. And I'm going to see if those five lights are as bright or brighter than these. Now, if I can do that and it works and it's just as bright, I'm going to save now, on my electricity. The electricity will save on the uh, wattage here. Those eight lights are using 320 watts right now. If we put five of these light bulbs in, we're going to be using 45 watts. The difference between them is 275 watts. So we're going to go ahead and start wiring this up and uh, we'll get them turned on and we'll see. I'll see if I can get the camera set up to where we can see which one's going to make the most light or if it's even worth putting these lights in your garage. I know it's definitely cheaper because I have about $24 in this box uh, what I'm going to use to wire it up with. Now I already have the wire uh, because it's already ran along the ceiling. I'm just going to cut it and put it in between there and I had these boxes to mount the lights this little piece here in. But uh, for five of these and all the connectors to connect the metal uh, tubing up because I'll use metal conduit and I had some conduit I had to buy a couple pieces of conduit and I bought six of these lights cost me $24.45 now one light with a shop light LED shop light is going to cost me $35 so we're going to see if five of these will do any good on that side of the garage I don't work over there but I still need light over there so we'll see what happens if it works out I'll put these throughout my whole entire garage. So let's see what happens. Now the first step I'm going to do is I want to turn the power off to this row of lights. It has a light switch. I'm going to turn the light switch off plus it has a breaker for this row of lights. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the breaker off and I'll also push the switch down and I'll put a piece of tape over that switch. So if somebody comes through my garage door and for some reason turns that light on because they want more light, I'll at least ways have a piece of tape over there and they're gonna wonder what that tape's going on there. So hopefully we won't get shot. That's the whole thing is being safe when we do this job. Well, now we got all the power off. We're gonna go ahead and start taking all these lights down and then we're gonna, this garage is 26 feet long. Each beam that goes through there, it's actually 25, but each beam is about four foot apart so we're going to put a, a light on each one of them beams down through there and run the conduit and the wire in there and get all of our lights wired up we got to get all this junk out of here first the whole reason i was changing this if you notice in some of my videos you hear a buzzing noise and i have a couple ballasts that were going out so in order to replace the ballast they want 20 30 bucks for a ballast you'd be better off buying a light but I have two lights there, so that means I have to buy two. And at $35 a piece, you're talking 70 bucks to change one light. Right now, I can put these in for about 24 bucks. So we're gonna go ahead and get them wired up, get this junk out of here, and see if this light's gonna be bright. All right, as you can see, 
We have the lights all down and out. Now what we want to do is we want to mount this little bracket on there. And that's where our light's going to slide up. And it, I took the bolts out of the, the light bracket, screwed them in here. And I put two pieces for my conduit on each side of this. Now this is an old box. You ain't got to use new boxes. I mean, it's no big deal. I took a little bit of that aluminum metal tape and I stuck it over both the holes on the other side where this box was opened up. Nothing's going to get in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here where this board is. Right here is where I want each one of my lights to set on this cross board all the way across there. So I'm just going to take a pipe cutter like this and I'm going to cut that pipe off and move my wire. I'll cut my wire off and I'll start with my first box right over here. Pipe clamp. Okay, now we'll just cut that wire off however long we need it, and then we'll start going. We'll go to our next one. Okay, I was sitting here and um, I got a bunch of these boxes, and a lot of them are used. A lot of these boxes are used, and like I said, it doesn't matter whether they're used or not. If they have a hole and I don't want it there, I put some of that aluminum tape over it. But if you notice, some of these boxes are different size. And I want to use one of these little, um, these boxes on there. Now, they have two sets of punches. You got a big set and a small set. You can punch that inside set out. I'll show you what the inside one looks like. You see right here, you have a punch out. You can knock that little punch out out, and you can use either a big box or a small box. And I'll show you. The big box is right here. When you set it on, you just twist it and it locks into that position there. And if you want to use a small box, you do the same thing. If you knock them little ones out, you can set it right down on top of there and use a small box too. So you can use either one of these boxes. So if you're going to try to use them and try to save a little money by finding these used, actually we uh, redone my son's house and he had a whole bunch of these left over and we, we put all plastic in so these were coming out and I wanted to use the metal conduit in the garage so I took them. Why not? They were three dollars and something a piece. So I saved fifteen dollars by getting these old boxes out of his house. Now, when you're wiring up these little things, they're pretty much common sense. If you look at them, you don't have to call an electrician in to wire up one of these old boxes. You have a white wire and you have a, a black wire. And if you notice, you got a silver here and you got gold color here. You want your black on the gold and your white on your uh, gold or silver color. So. It's not that hard, and you can just wire up your grounds. Uh, in this case, I don't believe you even need it, because I don't have an outlet or nothing. I'm just running uh, a lights there, but I will wire all the grounds up. So it's not a big deal wiring up these little lights for in your garage or your basement or whatever. Just make sure your black's on the gold and your white is on your silver, and you'll be fine. Okay, we got all the lights wired up. There's five in the row. They're all 60 watt bulbs. There's one actually down there on the end. There's five. And what I'm trying to compare them with 
are this one and this one here. So our wattage, like we said, is 320. 320 on these ones over here. We've got 320 watts there. And those ones over there are only 45 watts. So I personally don't think we're going to get as much light. So we're going to go ahead and try to kick them on and see what happens. Okay, all the lights are on and they're all working. All five of them. All five of them are working. They're okay, but we're going to see. What we're going to do is I'm going to turn the middle light off. That's the one up here in the top. These three big ones. I'm going to turn these three big ones off. So, let me go turn them off. The switch for that one is up here. You come in the big door, you can turn that switch on. Okay, all the big ones are off. Now, the only ones we have on now are these ones over here and these ones over here. And just by looking at it, these look brighter to me. So what I'll do is I'll turn the one on the right off first and then I'll turn it back on and then I'll turn the one on the left off. So you try to be the judge on what you think. Now I'm standing closer to the ones over here on this side. I don't know if that'll make a difference or not. That's 45 watts versus 360. Now, we could take these bulbs out and put 100 watt bulbs in. And if that's an 80, that's supposed to be a 60 watt bulb there. And it's only running nine watts. What if we was to put a 100 watt bulb in there? What would be running? Maybe 12 watts? I'm not sure. So, maybe we'll go pick up 100 watt bulbs. Don't know. Let me know what you think. Well, on the lights, you're saving 275 watts on those lights over there versus these lights over here. Those are LED and these are just fluorescent. I personally think the fluorescent ones are brighter, but I don't know what a 100 watt bulb would cost to put over there. Now, they say these bulbs last, the, the LED bulbs last a long time, and I have been putting some money into these fluorescent lights. And they say they're going to stop making them. I don't know. It's just what I heard. The fluorescent ones. So, they're okay, but I'm not sure I'd want them all throughout my garage. Unless I put the 100 watts in there and they pick up a little bit more brightness, I may go with them, but it's an iffy, iffy situation. I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video and thanks for the subscribers. I honestly never thought I'd have as many subscribers as I do, but I'm happy with it. And don't forget, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, thanks for watching. Till next time. We'll see y'all.